y'all so let's get into this curry salmon it's nice and cleaned and i pat it dry so i'm gonna use a teaspoon of everything a teaspoon of pepper i have seasoned pepper i have a teaspoon of salt i have a teaspoon of garlic powder and then i'm gonna put some complete seasoning ultra rias complete seasoning in there and with my ultra rias cute complete seasoning i really like this it's like an all-purpose seasoning um, I usually use it in my stews or I'll use it in my curry. So I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that in there. And then I also have some garlic powder. So I'm going to go ahead and put the garlic powder, another teaspoon. And then we have some curry powder. I use hot curry uh, powder as well as a little bit of just regular curry or mild curry however you want and you but you can use one or the other I just like a little bit of spice to my food or you could just did a little slither of scotch bonnet but I just mix those together so that's about a teaspoon each and then after I place that in there I'm going to use some grapeseed oil and then I'm going to combine all the flavors all the seasonings together and then I'm going to set that aside and let that marinate for you know a couple hours or overnight <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to cut up the vegetables that's going to go into this curry. So I have a red pepper, about one-fourth, and we're going to jubilee or really slice those um, peppers up. And then I have a red onion, the same thing, about one-fourth of it. And we're going to, you know, jubilee that as well. And then I have some green peppers, the same thing. And then I have some garlic we're going to finely chop. I did two garlic cloves, but you could do one or two. Um, and then I'm going to mince that up. And then I also put a little bit of ginger in there. So just, just a little, maybe one inch of ginger in there. And you're going to finely um, mince that up as well. So those will be um, the vegetables that I will use um, to go into this curry now we're going to get ready to pan sear this salmon so you want a medium high heat pan and i put a little bit of grapeseed oil in that but you can use olive oil or whatever your oil of choice is and you're going to probably pan sear it for maybe two or three minutes you're just i just really want to get the nice coloring and then i'm going to cook it off in the oven at 425 degrees. Okay, so let's make this sauce. So in a medium high heat with some grapeseed oil, we're gonna put the curry powder in there and we're going to toast that then we're going to put all our vegetables that we chopped up earlier in there and saute all that together with the curry powder we're going to put some water and a vegetable bouillon cube in there then we're going to place our fresh tomato and we're going to stir all that together so combine all that together then we're going to go ahead and put our fresh tomatoes in there I'm going to place the green seasoning in there, which you can find the ingredients on divinecuisine.com. We're going to combine and mix all that together. And then we're going to go ahead and season with a little bit of salt, put some fresh thyme in there, some seasoned pepper in there, and then I'm going to put the top on there and let those vegetables soften. Okay, so it's been simmering for about two or three minutes. So now we're gonna put some coconut milk in here in the curry sauce. And we're gonna combine all that or stir all that together into the curry sauce. And then we're gonna place the salmon back into the curry sauce. So now it can get all that yummy flavor of the curry and the salmon. And then we'll be ready to serve. <laughs> And there you have it, curry.
salmon. And I made some broccolini that night and some turmeric quinoa, which was chef kiss. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my rest, my website for more recipes, products, exclusives at divinecuisine.com.